right. And then she's very selfish. And then when the accountability conversation came up, she was like, oh, I haven't eaten in seven days. Like, uh, uh, huh, huh. why are you what, what, trying? She was like, why I haven't, eat, haven't eaten. I said, what? I was like, what does this have to do with you being able to just admit that, listen, I am sorry. I made a wrong decision for going over there because I was overwhelmed with the process. <laughs> Give me some grace. What? You look fine. You haven't lost any weight. Like, how? What are you talking about? Moving like what? Daniel in the Bible. Go on. Mm-hmm. Come on. So, so she's. She's very self-centered. Very, it's all about her. And I get the 80s thing. I really do. I get it. It's kind of cute to me because I feel like that's his quirk. And, you know, I mean, he's going to have to kind of like, you know, kind of work on that a little bit. But to me, that's cute. The one problem I see with this couple, though, is that. So I heard this phrase that you, the way you fight, the way you fight determines what your intentions are. Mm. And these two people they fight like they're opponents, like they're in opposing corners, mm. just fighting each other. They're not a team. With that argument that they had, like the way that he he's trying, she's trying to protect herself from getting hurt by deflecting and making him the bad guy. And he's trying to protect himself by lashing out and saying all these mean, you know, harsh things to her. So they're they're fighting from opposing sides and that's gonna be the death of them. If they can't find the middle ground where they can work through their their um, conflict resolution, because that's a really heavy part of a relationship if you don't know how to conflict um, resolve. And if they can't find that ground, they're gonna have problems. They're gonna always come back to this. Another right. thing I wanna mention too is that she, so, okay, I get it. Maybe he was doing a bit of the 80s thing, but some of the things he was saying was a joke. He was joking, like about the Karen thing with the mother. Like, but because he's still, she's so stuck in her hurt, she wasn't even able to absorb the joke, right? Because it was a joke. You know, this dress looks like Karen. It was just a joke, but she wasn't able to absorb it because she's stuck in it. And then she doesn't speak her truth. She needs to be able to learn to speak her truth and not just hide behind, oh, I'm sorry, I don't want to hurt your feelings. No, speak your truth. You know how to speak, speak your truth. You're right. And and and, and you make such a valid point. Um, for me, what was so telling, and, and you often hear for people that have pets that your pet tends to act a lot like the owner. They fight just like them dogs fought. <laughs> and that dog came out and was ready to tear into her little precious fluffy. I was mm -hmm. like, that's exactly how y'all fight. Y'all don't fight fair. Y'all want to tear each other's neck off. Did y'all see how he was talking to her? He's been all like this, this entire season. But when they walked in the apartment, he was like, because you're a liar and you got a boyfriend. I mean, he was dragging her. I was like, where did all this come from, Jacob? Like, what? So, um, yeah, they just they just don't see it for each other. And if 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 we're just being honest, uh, what more than likely happened uh, was when she stumbled on that gay uh, that not gay, but when she stumbled on that drunk sex with him, the D just probably wasn't Ding, and mm -hmm. she, she's not. <laughs> um, and that's, that's just, it, is, it. Just is what it is. I, can we just call a thing a thing? She yeah. left. She left feeling unfulfilled, and now there's nothing redeemable there. Okay, I'm already not feeling you. You keep yep. talking about the '80s, which she told him, "I wouldn't know what members only is. I wasn't in the '80s." He's not getting it, and she thought if there's anything that could help me try to get into you, is if that D could be D, and it wasn't. So now she's done. So true. <laughs> and with regard to him always talking about the '80s, sometimes you find what happens. Um, with some people is like if they had a heyday or if they were like a top athlete or a top mm. scholar at a certain time in life, it's like that's where they live. They, they they keep reliving that high time, that high moment where they were the man or, you know, the superstar athlete or whatever the case may be. And clearly for, for him, it was the 80s. Mm. Didi, you say you want to go next? Go for it, bro. Yeah, the problem now with Jacob, Jacob <laughs> don't pay attention or listen. Because when you trying to court a woman, you're trying to approach a woman, you have to listen. He keeps on giving a bunch of corny jokes from the starting of that episode. That man is giving a bunch of corny jokes that she would never get. And he keeps on talking about himself, maybe his frat days or his, his spring break days. And those jokes for the life of me, it's just not working for me neither because sometimes I have to figure out if I have to laugh. I try to figure out what to do. 
So he's not paying attention to what he he needs to, uh, she has she has her ways, but then if I was a woman, I'm just saying I would not pay attention, no kind of attention to a man like that because he don't listen, he don't pay attention to her. He always giving jokes and he's not realizing that the jokes are not working. That's why he came with that Karen joke and she was lost. And I was lost too. <laughs> and speaking about the girl's mom is a Karen. I would be lost. And then <laughs> the dogs, I think the dogs had more sense than them. Because at one point, two of the dogs wanted to fight. And the, the dogs telling them that relationship would not work. That's what the dogs were telling them. So I think the dog has more sense than him. He keeps on talking about the 80s. I'm an 80s baby, but shit, we're in 2021. <laughs> and you ain't going to see, see me wearing no, 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 um, well, I guess as a like, see me wearing no 80s clothes or, I mean, come on, transit. You're just stuck in the 80s. Who, who does that? What's that, that neon light? Who still does that? Any, any of you guys got neon lights at your house? Not me. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I don't know, but anyway, that's I'm for me. Lie. I just think Jacob is just full of himself. And Jacob just needs to listen to Haley. Maybe he might stand a chance if he start listening to her. Yes, yeah, she lies, but then women, you always pay attention to a woman. Listen to what she has to say. See her reactions. Pay attention to a woman. Because if you don't do that, you'll just be like a fool. And just going on and on about, well, your mom is a Karen. Or probably going, up, going on about screen break. The underwear you wear, you wore at screen break. Some kind of tight ass underwear. Excuse my language, sorry. But I don't know. I'm just tired of him. But I like, they're my favorite couple. You know why they're my favorite couple? Because they keep it real. Mm, mm, mm. Like, you, they keep it real. They're not fake. Like, all yet, some of those, those couples, like, you can see the issues. But the two of them, they don't like one another. And they just keep it real. But they're my favorite couple. <laughs> I don't think they will last. But they need to pay attention to the dogs. Maybe the dogs will talk some sense into them. Oh, DD. <laughs> oh, DD. <laughs> All right, Arabo, you said you wanted um, to go next, yeah? Yeah, so two things, and I'll be quick. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> oh, so, Jacob is as dry as dry cornbread to me, so we'll get that out of the way. I don't care for him. Uh, um, his, his personality is off-putting. Mm. Um, I really feel like they could have done it without him on the show. They could have did better. Um, but at the same time, and I'm not saying about, you know, the people on this panel, I think in general, we give, we tend to give women a lot of grace. Haley is dead wrong, period. Oh like she let gave me wild mm. Chris vibes. She almost gave me yeah. Chris vibes. Like, you cannot that what she did was so disrespectful. Mm. I don't care how bad the sex was. I don't care how much she talks about the eighties. I don't care how dry and 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 you know the lack of chemistry you guys have to do what she did to this man embarrassed him. Mm-hmm. Like, how are you attending a function with Chris and Paige there and you gonna leave him at home? The fact that everyone, even Chris and Paige was there, I would feel so disrespected. You had, you had the the couple that fights like two crackheads there and left me out of it. Nah, that's disrespectful as hell. She's wrong. Period. Number two. Okay, when you fail to be honest and when you fail to communicate, you leave room for people to assume something about you. So the lack of her, the, the fact that she's not communicating how she truly feels about Jacob to Jacob is why he's assuming she has another boyfriend somewhere or that mm. she's doing dirty. So you can't get mad if I'm assuming you out here slinging, you know, slinging your, um, your, your peen all over the place. If you're not being honest with me and open as to how you truly feel about me. So that's just my thing. Be open and honest about how you feel about someone or else they have every right to assume that you're doing the worst. Number two, if you're going to embarrass me like that on national television, listen, (laughs) you have a death wish because I could not, I could, Chris and Paige. 
Okay. Chris and Pitch. Chris and Pitch were there, but me. Get out of here, man. Get <laughs> out of here, man. Can yeah. I jump in real quick on, on the it. tail end of that real quick, Culture? I just want to say I, I definitely can see how, and I've been hearing some people saying, like, she's doing exactly what Chris did, but I do just want to break it down a little bit. So Chris set off Rip, wasn't attracted to his wife, and then still slept with her. I don't see Virginia and Jacob having drunk sex as the same thing. And then I also don't see how moving forward, I can pretty much guarantee their Virginia, I'm sorry, not Virginia, but Haley and Jacob Idiot. are probably not going to have sex again. Yet we know Chris and Paige continue. And so I do just want to draw that line of delineation because that does make a huge difference. Virginia is mm. also not playing the same type of um, mind games with intent. I don't think she knows how to put language to what she's feeling. Hence why mm. she's just like, I just, and, and she even said, I don't want to hurt your feelings. And I'm like, girl, you just gonna have to tell him you don't like him and you're not attracted to him. She's not like Chris, right? Chris can give you that blatant, almost like feels she's like he's disregarding you. She doesn't have intent to hurt him. Okay. Chris doesn't care. And so I just want to draw that line because I don't think Haley is doing what Chris did. If she were to continue being intimate with Jacob and really messing with his mind and being abusive, then I could see that. But up to what we've seen so far, it has been different than what Chris